In this video, we'll unravel the fundamentals of Hinduism. What are the fundamentals of Hinduism? Hinduism embodies both complexity and simplicity. It may appear intricate to those who haven't delved into its scriptures or teachings, yet it reveals simplicity to those who have embraced its philosophies. In essence, Hinduism integrates diverse teachings, traditions, cultures, and philosophies into a unified path aimed at human salvation and progress. The diversity within Hinduism gives rise to numerous interpretations, each holding significance for its adherents. Even a basic understanding of this ancient and fascinating religion provides insight into the worldview of over a billion people. With no single founder or scripture, Hinduism derives its authority from an extensive collection of sacred texts that govern rituals, worship, pilgrimage, and daily life. In Hinduism, you'll find certain beliefs common among virtually all adherents. These include, but aren't restricted to. Firstly, there's a belief in multiple gods, seen as various manifestations of a singular unity, each intricately linked to universal and natural processes. Secondly, there's a preference for one deity, while simultaneously recognizing and respecting the existence of others within the pantheon. Additionally, there's a profound belief in the universal law of cause and effect, known as karma, which governs actions and their consequences, alongside the concept of reincarnation, wherein individuals undergo a series of births and deaths based on their past actions. The concept of karma often perplexes Westerners due to the absence of a precise English equivalent. Lastly, there's a shared belief in the potential for liberation and release from the cycle of birth, death, and rebirth, known as samsara, through the attainment of moksha, which marks the ultimate spiritual goal in Hinduism. The concept of dharma, or righteous behavior, is extensively discussed in numerous early philosophical texts. It's recognized that not all religious practices suit every member of society. Similarly, different stages of life entail distinct duties, with emphasis on education and family responsibilities in earlier years, transitioning to goals of contemplation and renunciation in later stages. A religious life in Hinduism is not necessarily entirely spiritual. It can accommodate worldly pursuits like material success and legitimate pleasure, depending on individual circumstances. Hindus stress the significance of observing proper conduct, encompassing various rituals, while striving for moksha, the liberation from the cycle of birth and rebirth. Moksha represents the ultimate spiritual goal in Hinduism. How does one pursue moksha? The aim is to achieve a state of detachment from worldly attachments and perceptions, culminating in the realization of the ultimate unity between the individual soul, Atma, and the universal, Brahm. To reach this state, individuals can embark on various paths, the path of knowledge, the path of righteous actions or works, or the path of devotion to God. In Hindu philosophy, two fundamental concepts shape the understanding of existence, Atma and Brahm. Atma, often likened to the Western notion of a soul, holds a distinct significance. It's perceived as the inner essence of an individual, immortal and transcending the constraints of time and space. Atma, is more than just a soul. It embodies divine consciousness, eternal and unchanging. In contrast, Brahm represents the ultimate reality, the universal consciousness that pervades everything. It's infinite, unbounded by time, space, or causality. Brahm is the source from which all things arise, including Atma. The crux of Hindu philosophy lies in the relationship between Atma and Brahm. Spiritual enlightenment, or self-realization, hinges upon recognizing the inherent unity between the individual self, Atma, and the universal consciousness, Brahm. Through disciplined spiritual practice, 
Individuals aim to transcend the limitations of the ego and perceive their true nature as Atma, ultimately realizing oneness with Brahm. This realization leads to liberation from the cycle of birth and death, known as samsara, and the attainment of eternal bliss and unity with Brahm, known as moksha. We'll delve into these terms in more detail in future videos. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video informative and insightful, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more content like this.